Today we are making fish tacos. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Eti and welcome to my kitchen. There's many kinds of tacos, but my favorite are the fish tacos, like for life. I used to bring up my fryer up on my stoop and just cook them and give it to my neighbors and they would just like lose their minds. And then like we'll get drunk, you know, like beer, not tequila, you know. Every occasion I've got dinners, parties, I'll just make tacos. This is how obsessed I am. So talking of obsession, can you give me a favor? Is to get obsessed with that like button. Guys, the key for perfect tacos is to use the freshest ingredient. For the fish, use haddock, cod, basically any type of mild wild fish will do. I know it's cheaper guys, but please try to stay away from farmer's tilapia. <laughs> okay guys, vamos, let's do this. So I make my mise en place by making some pico de gallo. So I chop some cilantro, dice up some onions just like this. Me cry. Let's chop some jalapeno. Take the seeds out, guys. Yes, make sure you take the seeds out. What I do for the jalapeno, I cut them in like long strips, just like this, to help me dice them up, just like this. Tomatoes. I empty my tomatoes, guys. Make sure you empty those tomatoes and dice them up. Some lime. Don't be shy with the lime, with the pico de gallo. Juice that up. Sea salt. Fresh black pepper. Mix that all up and add the cilantro. I cut up some round slices of jalapeno for garnish and then radishes into thin slices. Just like this and then I put a wet towel on top to keep them fresh and then chop my red cabbage in thin slices just like this. The avocados, just like this. Et voila, my mise en place. I love my fish taco crispy, so let's make some beer. I add some flour into my bowl and then slowly adding beer. Just like this, slowly guys, cause you don't want it too wet. You want a semi-thick type of texture, just like this. So keep adding slowly your beer till you get this. Voila. Salt. Fresh ground black pepper. Mix it up. Now that my oil is nice and hot, let's get ready to drop in that fish. So I cut my fish in the batter, just like this. And then drop it slowly into the oil. Voila. And this for like five minutes. Make sure you don't cook too many in the same time because you don't want them to stick together. Voila, you want that nice golden color. Look at this and make sure you flip them and stir them once in a while. Voila, look at this. So I throw my tacos on the gas burner to crease them up, but if you don't have a burner, a toaster or an oven will be just fine, just like this. And then I add some salt to my fish. All right guys, my mise en place is ready. Look at this bread, now let's plate it. Spicy mayo on the bottom of my taco, fish on top, and sliced avocados, a bit of red cabbage, pico de gallo, Jalapeno for spiciness, radishes for crunchiness, cilantro for the taste. Et voila, guys. And then don't forget the lime for the garnish. Look at this beautiful fried fish taco. Guys, the fish tacos are ready. Let's eat them. Do you hear this crunchiness? Amazing. Can't go wrong with that. I was so hungry. Every little ingredient matter, you know? Just like. Guys, these tacos are the best. 
soft on the outside, crunchy on the inside. And then the little jalapeno just having a nice little kick. It's just, mm, it's just so good. Guys, I hope you learned something today and had fun watching me make those little tacos. There'll be new videos every week, so please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.